How you doing guys? Dragon Man here. It's another beautiful day in Colorado Springs. And uh, today's Monday. It's my day off. And uh, what I do on my day off, I play with my toys. Look at all the army vehicles I took out this morning. I like to use everything at least twice a year and keep everything in uh, running condition. So uh, here, let's come over here. Let me tell you about some of these vehicles here. Yeah, this here is a World War II. It's a WC-63. And uh, they only made 23,000 of these. Isn't this a beautiful vehicle? Uh, this is a Dodge. It's got a flathead 230 cubic inch uh, gasoline motor. And it's a uh, six-wheel drive troop carrier. Over here, I got my uh, recallless rifle, 106 millimeter. And this is a uh, M38A1 Jeep. And they use these uh, right through Korea and Vietnam. Okay, you come around the turn here. This is an M2 half track. I have seven half tracks, and uh, they call it a half track because the back has tracks on it, and the front is uh, truck tires. It's got a differential. It's actually uh, like four wheel drive. Okay, so anyway, here, take a look inside. Look how nice uh, the half tracks are, if you've never seen a half track. That's a uh, 306 uh, 1919. Browning a machine gun, and in a half track, it would normally be like a four to five man crew. Okay, and uh, over here, the M15 half track, very, very rare. In 1942, the uh, White Trucking Company in Cleveland, Ohio, only made 520 of these. Over 400 went overseas, never came back. So I was real lucky to have this. Okay, over here. We got the M3 half track. The only distance from the M3 and the M2 is the M3 has a back door. See, and it's got a roller in the front, uh, got a rebuilt motor in it. These are M36 backpacks. See, it's got the uh, M1 Grant with the rifle holder. It's got the uh, recall this rifle up there, the 75 millimeter. It's equipped with three Browning 3006 machine guns. See, it's got the back door over here. All my vehicles are in excellent shape. Okay, and a lot of you guys uh, know this. This is the Vietnam era uh, deuce and a half, the M35. It's a uh, multi-fuel that run on gas and uh, diesel fluid. And over here, if any of you guys were in Vietnam, you've definitely seen an M43 ambulance. I have three of them, fully equipped. Here, follow me. We're gonna open up the back here. See that? It's got the stretches. It's got the medical equipment. See the uh, the step comes down. You like that? It can hold uh, four uh, patients in there, even one on the floor. It'll hold five stretches. Okay, so we'll uh, close that up. Okay, over here, M37s. I got 11 of them. The Dodge Brothers made these, 1950 to 68, and uh, they made almost half a million of them. And uh, the GIs that come through my museum, they tell me they're still using M37s and M43s in bases all around the world. You can't beat a Dodge. Yeah, this one has a uh, winch model. See, it's got the winch in the front. And about 35 of my vehicles actually have license plates on them. They're all registered because uh, we have parades. I like to put a lot of vehicles in the Veterans Parade November 11th, and uh, we have convoys through town. The next convoy we're gonna have is uh, 4th of July in a few weeks. Okay, guys, so anyway, this is what I'm doing on my day off. Uh, I play with my army trucks, and uh, I have fun out here. And thanks for all my helpers for helping me. Uh, I couldn't never do all this myself. It's a lot of work taking care of 92 military vehicles. Okay, guys, you guys have a great day. Just want to show you what's going on at the Colorado Springs Military Museum. Thanks for watching.